Good afternoon, ladies and gents. New shade with you today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, another one. Got a lot in it. So, get started. DE razor we're going to be razors we're going to be using today is first of all, Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements Nickel Plated Prismatic Razor. The Prismatic Razor. <clears throat> homage to the homage to the Kirby Beard Company. I'm not getting into all the details of the razor. You, you can read on Douglas's website and stuff, but we're gonna be shaving with this today, and we're also gonna be shaving with the new <laughs> Prismatic on steroids. Epic shave tech metaphor. Metaphor? Simile? A metaphor. That's what we're using. Crazy looking art. Crazy, crazy looking art there. But yeah, we're gonna be rocking that today too. A metaphor. What the? Yeah, I actually use, I put the Ascension, my Ascension Select handle on there. I thought that looked really cool. And you could uh, switch the tips out, but I just thought that looked cool. Yeah, we're gonna do a comparison of these, so. All right, so. So, 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 all right. What I'm gonna be doing, be loading both of them up with big chrome platinums. So, let's see here. I'm get the first one loaded up. Got a big bag of Bix. All right, yeah. Now, I did already put a washer on here. I haven't shaved with it yet, but I do have a washer on there. Just cause I like using a washer. 316L stainless though, the metaphor one, you don't have to use a washer because it's 316L stainless. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna do a little comparison. I haven't used these before, either one, so we'll see how it goes. All right, got that one loaded up. Get the other one loaded up. Quick. Load it up. All right. So, first of all, you can see the handle length. Prismatic is a little shorter, but if you take this tip off, it'll be the same length. Prismatic has overhang, quite a bit of overhang. Metaphor, no overhang at all. Nothing. You can see the heads. Now this one is 316L stainless. This one's nickel. Um, if you look at the prismatic, you can see the scallop. Come on, camera. You can see how the scallop just like goes and then it like drops down. Let's see if you can see that. Focus! <laughs> and with the metaphor it's actually smooth come on you can see that it's like smooth as opposed to just drop right down i don't know if that's going to make a shave different or what but yeah it's a lot this one seems a lot looks wise a lot smoother and then you can see the blade exposure not very much this one's got quite a bit of a uh, blade exposure so you can see that and you can see the two heads together shaky come on very different same but different but i'm gonna do a side-by-side -side shave with them now this is cool too it says it says metaphor phoenix shaving on the bottom very cool and they did do a oh they made it to where it fits much better <laughs> read the website i'm not very good at the technical speaking of it i just want to grab it and shave with it but we're gonna shave with them so yeah <laughs> Soap we're going to be using today. Something I've wanted for a while. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Tombstone Artesian Shave Soap. Gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. Now, the rose actually is Lady Banksia White Rose, actually sourced from Tombstone, Arizona. Got Doug Smythe on the front right there. I'm your huckleberry. Say when. <laughs> Got a scent? That's what it's... Oh. Gunpowder, leather. That's what I get. I get the leather... And the gunpowder. Yeah, we're gonna shave with this today. So let's get this started. Put some water in there. Pump it out. Brush we're gonna be using today. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. The Atomic Rock 26 millimeter. <laughs> no, we're not. Anyways. You're all scatterbrained, Chris. 
Appreciate we're going to be using uh, PAA 2.0 mentholated. Appreciate it. <laughs> Get that started. I got like pretty dang good growth you can see there. So put these two rays to the test. Another side by side. Not a bad thing. Oh, menthol. I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How y'all doing today? You doing pretty good? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing all right. There. That's good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then the brush will get the rest. <laughs> CK1 version. This isn't the. I don't know if there is CK6. I didn't check. I bought this. I did the bundle thing with the aftershave as well. So. Oh my. <sighs> yeah. That smells good. I like those leathery type scents. Like, uh. Ah, uh, what the heck is that scent? The Big Shave. The last Big Shave soap. That one's more of like a. Reminds me of like a baseball, a baseball glove type of leather. This is just like leather um, and gunpowder. Very different. Not even, not even, not the same at all. Very different. Well, let's get it going. Oh man, gosh, that smells good. I'm thinking gunpowder. It doesn't smell like the fireworks either. The one they come out, uh, Phoenix Arts comes out with on uh, Fourth of July. Doesn't smell like that at all. It's got leather to it, like man, <laughs> leather. Give to me your I'm good. Huh. Give to me your leather. Take from me my leather. <laughs> you in the moonlight with your sleepy eyes. Would you ever love a man like me? <laughs> Sometimes I'm misty man. Sometimes cold skin, sometimes I cry. That's a good song. Have you guys ever seen the day it's Will Ferrell and Dave Grohl? They do that song together. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Look at that lather. That's a good lather. Oh, yeah. That's very good. All right. Wash off the hands. Okay. Paris and shave. Like I said, if you want to know more specs on the razors, go look. I'll put a link down below. I always put a link down, try to put a link down below to everything I use. So read up on it because Douglas Smythe has a lot to write. And it's like, I don't want to make an hour video for y'all. <laughs> heat up the razor. Alum on my finger. Pass number one, prismatic first on this side. On the left side, because, all right, see how this goes. Yeah. Pass number one. Oh, very audible feedback. I know you guys could hear that. And that is very... Wow. That chopped that off like nothing. Wow, very audible feedback too. But it... Don't cut yourself today, Chris. <laughs> Man, that's... Wow, yeah, that's nice. Dang it, Chris, now I got Stevie Nicks in my head. OK. 
Okay. Oh, that smells good. Oh, no huckleberry. He was just a little high strung. Come on, I'm from Arizona. You know I've seen that movie a thousand million times. <laughs> yes, men do cry. I cry every time of the end when Doc Holliday dies. Oh my God, I get... Mm. Oh, this is funny. He has no shoes on. Oh man. Because he always thought he was going to die with the shoes on. Huh. Thanks for always being there, Doc. Oh, God, I get you in the field. <laughs> you ain't got no heart, you don't cry. This is a very good shave so far with this. Wow. Audible feedback. You get me? Oh. Yeah, all right. Very nice so far. So, pass number one. Very good feedback. And it very, very pretty efficient to me. Other one. We're going with the metaphor. Much heavier, 316L stainless, except for, I kind of, <laughs> I put the ascension on there, but, yeah, it might mess with the weight a little bit, but. All right, yeah, no overhang. Let's see how this beast goes. Ooh, smooth. Little to no audible feedback. Very nice though. Yeah. Low profile head. Yeah, no feedback really at all. Oop, problem area. Come on, Chris. All right. Yeah, it got me right there, didn't I? Oh, well. But the metaphor, no nicks. I mean, I nicked myself twice with the prismatic right there. Not, not a bad thing, but. Yeah, it's all getting a little bit dry. So far, this is really smooth, though, the metaphor. A metaphor, a simile, a simile using like or as. No, we're not dropping no bars. <laughs> what do you mean? What's that mean, Chris? <laughs> LL Cool J is hard as hell. <laughs> Never mind. Not getting into that. I'm gonna shave the rest with this. This is nice. I'm knocking that prismatic. I mean, I got myself twice right there. This new one, ooh, I'm liking this thing. Very, very smooth to me. Almost seems like something you could use as a, um, a daily razor, too. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Fast two. Let's just do the cheeks. 
Man, I got me good there. Look at that. <laughs> Bella Lugosi. More Wolf's Bane? Renfield. Well, yeah, past two we're still gonna do with the side by side. Is that I was gonna use the other razor? Nah. Okay, past two. Prismatic. Nickel plated. Same exact handle as the uh, nickel plated DOC. Exact same handle. Very good though. Very efficient razor. Very nice, though. I mean, it cut it down. Except for... Oh, that's... Oh. Got myself there. Okay. Pass two with the metaphor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm good there. Mustache. Got to set that. And it smells good. Okay. Prismatic? Very, very audible feedback, but it does have more blade exposure, too. Very efficient razor, though. From the first time using it, really, really efficient. Like, it mows it down. Oh yeah, that's good. Right. Metaphor. Okay. I got paint on my hand. Huh, I painted my Nintendo. Took it all apart and painted it. Why should you use rubber gloves? I got paint. Yeah, paint on my fingers. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good to go. All right, clean up and be right back, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Very nice, very smooth. Had two weepers there, or two nicks. They went away, I didn't even use a stiff stick stick, but yeah. Very close though. Very, very close, so. We'll do the comparison in a second, 
Allen block. He's Allen block. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Do, 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 do. Okay. Aftershave we're going to be using today. Finks Arson Accoutrements, Tombstone, Aftershave, and Cologne. Gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. Matching. Pour that on there. Ooh. Bit of a burn. That was a close shave. Oh yeah, that burns a bit. Great scent though. Ooh, nice, nice scent. Leather, gunpowder. Boom, boom. Yeah. Recap of what we used today. We used Fiend Stars and Accoutrements Tombstone after shaving cologne. We also, yeah, that smells good. Manly, leathery. We also used Fiend Stars and Accoutrements Tombstone Soap, CK1. We used the Fiend Stars and Accoutrements Atomic Rocket 26mm brush. PA Allen Block. And we used both razors, Bic. Chrome Platinums. Now, compar comparison to razors. Now, this one to me is a little more efficient. To me, it's a little bit... I mean, both shave really close, but this one, more efficient to me. I mean, maybe it's because it's got the more overhang <coughs> with the blade exposure. But to me, this one was a little, little more aggressive than a metaphor. This one to me is a lot smoother, like... It shaved a lot smoother to me, and I didn't get any nicks or cuts. A couple weepers on here, but that could have just been me not knowing the technique and how to use the razor right. That could be uh, my error, so don't take me just my word for it. If you guys have these razors and you like them, comment below and tell me if you like them or not. Or if you tried them or you haven't tried them. But yeah, to me, this one was smooth. Good weight. Very, very pretty efficient, but smooth. It chopped it really good. Very smooth razor. I'm... I like this one. This one I'm gonna give more give more of a chance and give it a shave a little more with it. But yeah. Side by side, not bad. But I, I think this one to me, to me, your mileage may vary. This one was a little bit smoother to me. Like I said, this one was more more a little bit more aggressive than this one. But yeah. That's my comparison. That's how what I thought of what I thought about him, so. Yeah, we also use the prismatic razor today, and we also use the Fiend Stars and Accoutrements metaphor, but with an ascension, sub ascension select handle. So, yeah. That's the shave of the day, ladies and gents. So, to more to come. Hopefully, ladies and gents, have a good day, have a good week, good shaves, and uh, check out some of that stuff. Oh, that smells so good. Put a link down below so you guys can check it all out, read more up on it, because, you know, Douglas Mice has. You gotta read it all, <laughs> you gotta do your own reading. So, See you ladies and gents soon. Bye guys.